Earlier in the day, Elizabeth went to town at the supermarket. Elizabeth noticed an old black man from the town was struggling to carry his groceries out. As she helped him out of the store, an older white farmer from the area gave her a grim look. Elizabeth had a feeling that he was a part of the KKK by just the way he looked at her. They do. They're coming for us. They saw me helping old man Smith. How do you know it's the KKK? They only wear normal clothes during the day. Just by the way he was staring at me, I know he was a member. Maybe he didn't actually see you, and if they do, we can just make up a lie or something. What would we tell them? That he stole something from you or anything like that. We can try it. As the girls were trying to frantically decide what to do, they heard a loud bang from the front door. It was the man that Elizabeth had been seen by earlier that day. African-Americans. Don't you know that's not acceptable? They were stealing stuff from me. Uh, that's not what I saw. The next day, Elizabeth was approaching a black man that she saw across the street that needed help. At the same time, she saw Alex, the man from the day before, watching her again. When she realized this, she took off running for home. Oh my gosh, they are going to come to the house and kill us. Alex went back into town to meet with the rest of the clan and discuss what he had seen. I think I've got some new people for us. Two girls, light-headed. They both live on the south side of town. Did you get names? What were they doing? Were they helping the black people again? I saw old Nelson's girl helping that old black man Smith out the market. She tried to deny it when I asked her about it. Well, what did she say? I think we need to meet again tonight. But where would we meet? Our normal meeting place by the Southwest River Bank. All right, Chief, that sounds good. Later that evening, the entire clan met by the Southwest River Bank. Here's the plan. We're going to go to speak to the owner of the supermarket and see what she saw. What do we do if she didn't see nothing? We'll go from there. For now, we are going to split up. Some of you are going to go scope out the Smith's house. One group is going to stand by the Nelson's place, and the last group will go to the supermarket. Who will the groups be? You and five others will go to the Smith's place. John and two others will be on the lookout at the Nelson's place, and the rest will go with me. Sounds good. Let's split up. One of the members of the group and Alex go to the store that Alex originally caught Elizabeth at. Um, hello, miss? Yes, can I help you? We was just wondering if you'd seen a black boy and a white girl together around here. Their names is Elizabeth and Old Smith. That Elizabeth girl always comes and helps them African Americans. She is so kind. Are you serious? We gonna hang her, Chief. We gonna hang her like all the rest of them. We need to contact the rest of the clan and fast. Alex and the clan member hurry back to the place that they met earlier that day to tell the rest of the group what they found out. Okay. Hey, John. She done run away. <laughs> Who? Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth done run away. Alex and another clan member sped off to get to Elizabeth's house. When they arrived, they found Elizabeth hiding behind a tree, trembling in terror. <laughs> there you are! Why would you run away like that? Did you think you could hide from us? Uh, no sir, I just didn't want to cause no trouble. Well, you done caused some trouble by trying to hide away. I'm sorry, sir. I just didn't want to ruin my family's name. There won't be a family to ru ruin the name if you keep up this act. Elizabeth's sister comes back into the situation and begs for her family to be left alone. 
Please don't hurt my family. We have nothing to do with this. She wasn't causing any harm. I swear, I'm going to do some damage to you girls if you girls continue this. If we see anything, do any, if we see y'all doing anything suspicious again, we're going to come get you that night of our next meeting. And what night would that be? Why in the world would I tell you? You can trust us this time. But what about that man? I'm going to sure keep an eye out for you two, especially you, Elizabeth. Now, go on about your business. Oh, thank you. We really appreciate it this time. Mm -hmm. Alex walked away very unpleased with his decision. Elizabeth and her sister walked away with relief.